हरे कृष्णा वेर वी आर डजेंट डिटर्मिन हु वी आर ऑल ऑफ अस वी आर एट डिफरेंट प्लेसेस इन आर लाइव एंड समटाइम्स वी मे बी एट प्लेसेस वेर वी नेवर वॉन्टेड टू बी एंड विच मे बी वेरी बैड वी मे हैव डेवलप सम बैड हैबिट सम हाउ वी मे हैव डेवलप सम बैड एटीट्यूड्स एंड दिस can be discouraging and actually it can be devastating if we let where we are define us say if we find that we are at a very low level of self control if we are lazy if we are depressed if we are uh, short tempered if we are addicted then if we let that define us that will cripple us so we have to understand this yes, uh, where am i where i am i acknowledge that but that doesn't determine who we are why because we are souls we are parts of the divine and we have divinity within us and that divinity can be manifested no matter how much darkness be around us right now and darkness be within us the bhagavad gita gives a beautiful example in 15.8 इट सेज दट शरीर यदवापनोति यच्चाप्योत्क्रामतीश्वर गृहीता संयाति वायुर्गंधा वाशय दैट वी एक्वायर वेरियस कंसेप्शन ऑफ लाइफ जस्ट एज अ विंड एक्वायर्स सर्टन स्मेल्स द विंड गोज थ्रू अ फाउल स्मेलिंग प्लेस द विंड विल एक्वायर दैट फाउल स्मेल and the wind goes through a goes uh, to a pure place a fragrant garden it acquires a fragrant smell now the wind itself is not fragrant or odorous the wind actually is just wind and those same the particular smell particles that are there when they get removed that wind will get restored to its original nature so similarly when we go through certain situations and we gains we get certain impressions in our mind those impressions are a part of who we are but they are not who we are uh, so just as the wind if it goes to a fragrant place all the odor in it will gradually go away and if it stays in the fragrant place it will become fragrant so similarly our mind may be contaminated right now but that that is not who we are if we don't stay stuck where we are but if we keep taking small steady steps forwards then that will enable us to move forward in our life and we can become better ultimately if we can move towards if we move towards krishna he is all attractive he is all pure then in connecting with him through the path of devotion we can actually gain both satisfaction and purification it is the search for pleasure that makes us go towards impure things and it is the search for uh, it is um, the impure things which keep dragging us down but we become purified and we become satisfied when we connect with krishna so therefore instead of giving in instead of reducing our self identification to where we are we understand that wherever we are we are still parts of krishna and we don't have to stay apart from krishna uh, we, if we just connect with krishna right now right now we can experience purity and if we keep staying connected with krishna more and more purity will be ours to experience and thus we can become better than what we are by connect by bringing out the divinity within us by connecting within with the divinity and not letting the dirt around us define us thank you hare krishna